So you want to play X-Wing 2nd Edition on Tabletop Simulator. First thing you'll need is the game, which you can purchase on the Steam Marketplace. Next, you'll need to download the X-Wing 2nd Edition mod, which can be found by navigating to the Community Hub, then the Steam Workshop, and searching for X-Wing Unified 2.0. Subscribe to the workshop content and you're ready to play X-Wing. Be sure to grab the link to the Discord server while you're on the workshop page. This has the best way to find opponents. Simply navigate to the LFG or looking for game section. After launching the game, go to create and for now we'll go to single player, but once you've learned the ropes, you can create a multiplayer match from here as well. We'll select the X-Wing Unified 2.0 module and let the game load up. So here is the server, We've got the playmat, to the left we have maneuver templates and range rulers, to the right we have tokens and dice, a lot of this is going to be taken care of by the dial which you'll see later. To the left we also have the button for toggling the playmat, as well as rulers for asteroid and obstacle placement, as well as ship deployment. Also on the left are all of the obstacles, just click and drag to deploy them. And while holding them or hovering over them, use the number keys to cycle through different obstacles. Before you start playing, you'll need to choose a color. You can do that by clicking on your name, change color, and choosing any one of these colored balls. If you're playing in someone else's server, you may need to be promoted first. To do so, simply ask in the in-game chat. You're good to go. Now you'll need to spawn your squad. You can use the built-in squad builder. Alternatively, you can export them from apps with the appropriate formatting, like Yet Another Squad Builder or Launch Bay Next. Now we can left click, drag a selection, left click on the squad to pick them up, use the mouse wheel to rotate them, and bring them over to our play area. Before you can use the ships, you'll need to assign dials. To do that, simply drag the dial onto the ship's base. There you have it. When placing obstacles, be sure to use the L key to lock the obstacle in place. This is the same key that will be used to unlock ships after they are destroyed. Once ships are placed, you can set your dials. To do this, simply select moves on the dial, select the maneuver you want, hit set. When you're ready to go, you could hit tab to ping the table and let your opponent know. This is also used to point out anything you wish to bring attention to on the table. When it's your ship's turn to move, press the F key while hovering over the dial to flip it, and then hit the move button to perform the maneuver. Now you can perform any of your ship's actions. On the right, you have the tokens. Up top, you have boosts and barrel rolls. On the left, you have range finders things like target locking. You also have the ability to undo or check your maneuver template. Some ships have special abilities like bomb drops or special barrel rolls. These get their own token. Once it's time for combat, you can check your arcs by using the front, back, left, and right buttons on the dial. When you're ready to fire, simply left click on the appropriate dice. While holding left click, you can right click on the same dice to add more to your hand, set them on the table, select them, and hit R to roll. You can then use tokens to modify your dice. To modify a dice, hover over it and use the number keys to select the appropriate face. Before dealing damage for the first time, remember to shuffle your damage deck. This can be done by hitting the R key while hovering over the damage deck. You can flip shields using the F key. Drag cards one at a time to your ship. And if there's a crit, you can use the F key to flip the card over. Now that you're ready for your first match, you can look for a game in the LFG section of the Discord for the mod or by going to join and looking for a game of X-Wing. 